hi guys uh, so uh, last few sessions uh, we are seeing angular js tutorials uh, so on last few sessions we covered how to bind the data in a table using angular js and the basic filter shorting and the pagination everything we implemented step by step so if uh, the guys are new to this VS tutorial just go back and see my uh, tutorials to get the loop of uh, the video uh, so no issues uh, uh, let me uh, today uh, go and uh, show you some other topics so I just uh, here I have a requirement I just want to see the individual record details suppose suppose I click the ID uh, or uh, if I add uh, one more link called view uh, so once I click I want to see the particular details so now we listings uh, only the particular details how to take uh, so this is the topics I going to cover today okay I directly flip flip my studio I just open my app so other step I will close everything I don't want uh, anything now I am not going to work anything in a backend uh, okay uh, so my index controller okay uh, so uh, my requirement is that on click on id uh, i want to uh, pop up a particular uh, record details so today's uh, topics i'm going to show that one only so no problem i uh, just add one anchor tag uh, okay anchor uh, so i just close this tab and my text should be id so that uh, other user can feel the difference of that okay mm, so fine okay then uh, ng uh, okay ng dot click event i will take and i uh, uh, now i going to take one more method called uh, get method get a particular user so I just keep okay particular user particular get particular uh, here I pass my uh, model uh, instance m okay so now I just go and create my uh, get particular uh, scope in my controller uh, okay uh, next to this function I just uh, go and adding my scope uh, called uh, get particular here what I going to do okay I just uh, want to create one more scope called stood something like stood model there I going to pass this dot m and uh, fine uh, now I uh, I got a single record uh, instance uh, into the student model then how to retrieve this data so uh, for that I just uh, planning to use the bootstrap model okay uh, so what are you going to do I just uh, define some uh, div uh, already so I just copy paste uh, the div here slash division slash uh, one more division to close those tags ok now uh, my model is not it uh, one more div is required close tag is required for me to close the uh, entire stuff yeah good so now I have a uh, dialog uh, class model okay so model dialog I have so here uh, I can uh, add my content so here what I going to do is uh, I just uh, uh, I need to show the student name student name okay so now uh, I have uh, my instance into the student model so I use this student model scope student model uh, dot student name 
ओके ओके एंड ब्रेक मार्क्स सो हियर सॉरी स्टूड स्टूड मॉडल डॉट मार्क्स Oops, it is caps. I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, now uh, that model I going to pause. So uh, initial uh, steps I just uh, going to do one more steps in my function. Once I uh, uh, data loaded into the student model, I just uh, going to enable my. Uh, here I have a view model. I just go on to model. I tell the model to show the record. Okay, fine. So now our function is ready. I just uh, go on to. Uh, run my page here. Oh, oh, good. Okay, some issues are there. I will see what what was this exactly. Okay, everything is set up correctly. Uh, is there any mistake I done in the anchor tag? I want to see. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just uh, missed uh, something. Ah, uh, yes. I just uh, mentioned my href uh, is a JavaScript, so that uh, it will hit the it's load the JavaScript. Let me run again my application. Okay, this time. Oh wow! I got the result finally. Okay, I just want to see all the stuff here and all the pagination. Yeah, con sixty two, as if ninety five. Okay, around eighty seven. So it's very good. Uh, without hitting the server, we can uh, get the records uh, from our model. Okay, it's very good. If you want, you can add a separate link, or if you want to customize like this, you can do that. So lot of ways uh, you can bind the data if you want to. Uh, take it to the pop-up in a single page application it will be very good and faster so i just used the model pop-up uh, thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys enjoying the video if you have any comments queries please comment us so we are welcome uh, your feedbacks